Hey Clashers, what happens if you have the rank 1 clan facing off against the rank 2 clan in a 3 vs 3 epic battle? And that's right, we have a clan war like pro match happening in bitter base. You can see the score right below because we have Zofa Jäger as the rank 2 clan facing off against Midnight Bash right there. Huge shout out goes to those clans for joining me for this event. Let me know if you have any other cool ideas what I could do in better base like letting the top teams, top players facing off against each other. But for now, let's just have some fun because there is over 9,000 prize pool for those teams on the line. Like 9,000 gems. That's a lot. So that will bring hopefully the best bases, best attacks and we can enjoy. Let's jump in. And we are in. We have Midnight Bash doing the first attack. Zofa Jäger is doing the first defense. Overall, as I said already, it's a three versus three. There's a ton of prize gem money on the line if you want to cut it like that. So it's like for every um, participant, it's overall 3000 gems just to be in this event. And then it's going to be for every win which they're getting, because I'm, I have overall two matches, this being one match on the English channel, and then I have another separate match on the German channel. So if you're thinking, those attacks are just so cool that you want to watch more and more, don't worry, I got you covered. You can just check out the German channel if you want to. And for every win they can get in those matches, it's another 3,000 gems. So there's a lot of a lot of gems on the line for those teams, for those players. So let's see their best bases and everything. And we have, we first attack with the baby dragons. Let's go, let's go. We have the battlecopter starting things off overall as well. It is... No restrictions whatsoever. The players can use whatever they want. The players can, on offense, defense, do whatever they would like. It's all about just showing and showcasing the best strategies, which there is in their opinion right there. So there, that's pretty much it. There is no other rules except that. So we have this combination of setup in the core, which I think is really good if you're a uh, baby dragon attacker, which is this setup right here. This setup is really, really solid because um, like if you're the attacker, because the splash of the baby dragon is just so good against that. It is just so, so good against it. You can see, like, he is hitting pretty much every significant defense versus baby dragons with those abilities. It is crazy how strong that is. But now, this helicopter is struggling quite a bit, and he needs to get through that quickly. This core, I mean, those buildings are literally on one HP. So one more baby dragon ability, and this entire core is gone. And there we go. There's the Baby coming in. Oh no. Wait, it's too big. Was it a misclick? No. Was it a... I think it might have been a misclick. What is happening? Baby Dragon, come on. Turn around, turn around for the ability. Turn around. Yes. That was so clutch. So maybe now the last Baby Dragon can somehow clutch this, but I'm not sure. He's trying to get now the second... What is going on? No way. Oh no, he double tapped the baby dragons at the bottom side. That was so unfortunate. But he's getting solid percentage still, so it's not... Maybe it's not the end of the world. It's only the first attack, okay? And it can tell you so much that we have not seen all people getting into the second stage. Bitter Hall 10. Bitter Hall 10 is rough. Bitter Hall 10 is really not easy. So don't go too hard on those players. It is really not easy, especially if you have to face bases, which you have never attacked before. So... Really solid job on the defense, but really solid job of saving this, even though kind of swagging the one baby dragon, unfortunately. Okay, first attack now for Zofa Jäger, and they could get quite a significant lead if they're able to get to the second stage already in this first attack. So let's wait for it. We're seeing Pekka again. Okay, the Pekka and one giant strategy, which is, well, the one crusher somewhat exposed. So make sure that, well, you're getting the giant hit right away. But then we have a really crazy... Fo Wait a second. He's going in from... What? He's going in from the complete opposite side. Going in with the bomber early on. Okay. That is interesting. Where's the giant? Is the giant now going for that crush? No. I am right now just confused. I mean... I am right now just so confused, but take a look at this air hero. This hero is just so, so ridiculous strong. It is crazy. Take a look at that. It takes down even the crusher on the opposite side. It is incredible, incredible strong. Really nicely done. 
The air expo though is now locking onto it, but remember it does not like it's not that bad because you have still the ground hero for the next stage then. And right now the Pekka are going in. We have a lot of Pekka group like a lot of people pack up grouping up. But that should be no problem. The Pekka are just going through those defenses like it's nothing. There's giant bombs everywhere, but it's not going to be enough to get through. Really, really solid attack for this first stage. And gaming guides should get the first three plus stars in because remember when taking down the first stage you're getting to the second stage being able to collect another three stars and this right now um and this right now is already looking pretty solid so gaming guides now getting over to the second stage making it all the way to the second stage or no there's nothing it's always confusing to me when the troops are just wandering towards the top side towards the tunnel and you're like did i miss a building is there something missing it is always quite uh, quite funny but on this one oh we have some quick cannon cards coming in okay some really quick cannon cards are coming in cannon card mode activated or mortar mode activated i should more say and now they're sniping quite a few defenses because remember it's hard to actually outrange them only a few defenses can outrange those troops and this being the multi marcher on this stage, this being the mega cannon right there on the stage, but it's just too far away for those cannon cards, so you can just move them in little by little by little and always chip off the outside building, so really nicely done. And we now have the P.E.K.K.A. going in, getting the value right there. King doing a great job. Okay, storage should be taken care of, and the good thing right now is the storage is really far on the outside. Which means the king, the hero, not the king, the battle machine, <laughs> is able to charge the ability and is not taking too much damage. Which is really nice combination for him. Those outside tests are trolling him quite a bit, but the battle machine... Take a look at that timing. The battle machine taking the fire off that giant cannon and the cannon cards can just like go in and like... Wow, that was such a clean attack. Gaming guys getting the first... Six star of this matchup, Zofa Ega versus Midnight Bash. The first six star is on the board, and that is a really crazy lead early on. But you have seen Barrel 10 is not easy. Small mistakes can always happen on both sides. We have the next attacker in, Scarex is versus the base of gaming guys. And we have this really toxic looking base. We have the Pekka, we have the Giant with the Kennedy Card. This is a really common combination, it seems like. And we have just seen from Gaming Guys that it already got them the first 6 star of the match. Now it's all up to Skarex to get the first 6 star now for his team. Oh, hopefully, yes, the Bomber should stay alive. Some great usage of that ability. And the Giant taking nicely out of the damage right there. But wait a second. Wait a second. Everything is grouped up and there is just so much splash. There is just so much splash damage, guys. Oh no. Oh no, the P.E.K.K.A. ability can be used, maybe, hopefully, yes, no, P.E.K.K.A. getting the job done. Oh no, oh no, is this, this should, the ability, 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 okay, there goes the ability to get everything back in, and now it's everything, it's only about this hero, he has no troops alive whatsoever, but he needs to make this work, and he should be, right, he should be, the hero is running, no way. What are you? Turn around! The defense are on the opposite side, buddy. What are you? Okay, he, he is taking the risk. He is saying he's not taking as much damage. And he should be able to recharge. You got this. You got this. Come on. Come on. Now the ability in just a second as soon as the firecracker is going down. Yes, now the ability. Great timing right there. The chains should deal the damage to take those the defenses. But this storage might be a big problem because time is ticking. 30 seconds. Is there anything in the corners? Nothing in the corners. And I'm not sure if this is going to be a 6 star because they really need those high stars or a crazy defense to turn this match around to make sure that they're staying in this. The machine is doing some more spins. And we now have the second ability charged up. There we go. Nicely done. And we go to the second stage. Three stars are secured. Okay. And now we have the next base. We have the next setup. What is he going to go with? Remember, he has to somehow save 
his second star. And 50, like he has to go for 50% and the bitter hole. This is not, this is not easy at all with the things he has right now. And all those guys are on voice. I mean, I've seen already the guys are on voice on both teams. They're discussing like the strategies, approaches. That's my guess. But oh boy, that is not going to be easy. I feel like from this side, may I am not sure. Oh. Okay, using the ground machine. Remember, though, they have lost already a couple of hit points. And he is going for the cannon cards. Oh, no. If this, if this is baited, this will be a fresh star pretty much. Because if those cannon cards are baited, this is pretty much GG. And there, there can't be that many possibly entries for those cannon... Okay, both cannon cards. So if there would have been a test... No, how is that in range? That's never in range. Oh, he is so unlucky. You can't. Oh boy, they're so unlucky. How is that in range? Okay, he needs to wait. He needs to pick those defenses off. Remember, though, the range of this double cannon is not that far. So, what he might be able to do, deploy the hero on the far left side, right here. Make sure that it's loading up. But then we, again, we have the guard post troops. I, I, don't, I don't know. This is just so hard to save on a second star. And this is like the thing about Bitter Base. If things are going your way, Bitter Base looks way too easy. But if things, like those small little things, like traps, like push traps, for example, if there's something placed against your entry, you're sometimes struggling even with a three star. And this is what happened, for example, to me as well in the event of, of Carbon Finn. It, it can happen so quick guys it can happen so so quick so huge respect to those players being and trying somehow to save this i mean he's just so close of getting the second star somehow saved we have now the, oh no the ground hero is already so low on hit points i am not sure if we can get all the way and the, take a look at the range the range is so 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 barely oh no can he get the second star? This is what this is all about. Can he get the second? Can he even get a like, first star on this stage? Biddings are going down. 41%. Can a cards on the on the bitter hole? On the auto outpost? Can it go down? That would be so clutch. That could be the fifth star. Yes, it is the fourth and the fifth star. That was so, so well played. Incredible job in saving this on a five star attack. And now it's back to Zofa Yiga again. Okay, we have the second attack for Zofa Yiga. Oh, and he's starting right away with the baby dragons. We have already seen a baby dragon attack from the other side. There was a little mistake in there, but it has not looked too successful. And on this base, I am not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, I feel like the big thing with baby dragons is to cover every single flank. The reason is because on this base, but we have all of those high storage H, like high um hp beings on the bottom side what he can do now is just go in from the top side with baby dragons and he can completely avoid those buildings right away which is a huge deal if you're taking with baby dragons so i think overall a really smart choice onto this base let's see we have the ability yeah i mean take a look at that this is looking crazy i mean this right now is looking crazy he can place the next baby dragon in just a second Needs to be careful with the Barbarian that is not going to chase the Barbarian forever. Ability now. Great job. Next building is going down and he can now get in another Bay Dragon. Wait a second. The Bay Dragon is wandering off to the side. And that ability of the Bay Dragon, is it, it's going to catch the Expo? Are you kidding me? That range is crazy. Bay Dragon on the back end as well. The top Bay Dragon is tanking nicely. He can use the ability as well. I think he should actually. Should not save that. Can you already use it? Right now he's delaying it. Okay, he did not catch the flamethrower. And this is... Wait. This is turning to be uh, way closer than I thought. He only has one and a half baby dragons alive on this one. I thought this would be a clean overkill. Like with having two to three baby dragons alive. Like one or two abilities. But overall, this is still getting to the next stage. And that's the first most important thing. Just getting somehow to the next stage okay because a lot of clashes a lot of those pearl players are stacking the most important defenses in the first stage to make sure that it's as hard as annoying as risky to get to the next stage to the second stage because this is how you can get on leaderboards the most uh, trophies generated this is how you can 
well, really hold back the defense, or I hope hold back the attackers in those matches. We have again all baby dragons. I feel like with those baby dragons, they are just synergizing so well with each other with the abilities that a lot of times there is no need to use other troops than with this. Let's see, we have now the ground hero in here. He's trying to go around the top side. The reason why he picked this side is because he wanted to make sure that the hero is loading up the ability as long as possible without taking too much damage. But those tests have really made that plan completely nonsense. Now he's breaking through that wall and he has not gotten that much value with this hero. Another ability might be clutched. Yes, he gets that ability in. And this means, an means another firecracker is going down, which is massive. But is it going to be... Oh, wait. The bit is the auto outpost going down? Auto outpost? It's... Oh, barely. It's somehow going down. But still, you can see it is not close to being a six star. That's my... I mean, it's... So, not too bad, but it's not going to be a six star thing in the end. I think it should be around about like, yeah, he's, we'll get one more baiting and that's pretty much it. So overall, 175, five star, a couple of percentage short on the six star. Next base, next attack, and let's see what we see on this one. This looks like a super wild base. And to be honest, on this base, I would love to see the mass giant and super wizard strategy. I will have that in a separate video really soon because I think it's really, really cool. Let's see if he's going to switch things up. So far, it looks like another P.E.K.K.A. attack. Baby Dragon attacks really have not worked so far for those players. Or I mean, it was solid 5-star on the last attack, which we have just seen, but it's just not getting all the way. As well, we have now right now the score right below me of both teams. Wait a second, that was... Okay. You can see the score right below me of both of those teams um, after two attacks each. And as well, this cannon card was, e was either crazy or genius. So the reason why he placed it just so close to those buildings is because he expected push traps maybe to be a little bit further away. I would love to see the trap vision right now and see if there are any traps around this bottom side of the, can of the, of the cannon card and see if he was able to avoid those with placing the cannon card just so close to those buildings that the defender did not count on that, did not really expect that. That would be genius. Either way, this is already just the thinking going into this. This is just incredible and just shows why those players are just so, so good at the game. And we have at the same time the area already working at the top side as I was zooming in and explaining all the crazy stuff at the bottom side. And then we have the P.E.K.K.A. going in. Just this P.E.K.K.A. air hero combination for the first stage is just so, so incredible strong. And we now have the Bomber bouncing into that base with his bomb. And take a look at that. The Crusher on the back end, just gone. Just like that. Such a cool way on approaching the base. We have the air hero on the top side still going. Remember though, he is approaching this with hiding... The Teslas at the, the Expo setup. So maybe he just says, guys, go with ground. I'm fine with that. You like to attack with the ground. I don't mind. And with that being said, I have the ground Expo on the next stage. Let's see if that's the case. We will see in just a second. And there is the Expo. And yes, indeed, it is set to ground. So this might be a really, really now tricky setup for him to overcome because... The cannon card might be somewhat useless because take a look at that. One side covered by the arch tower, another side covered by the multi motor, and then the other side is covered by the expo. So the cannon card, oof, let's see. The first setup, the first base was not that stacked defense wise. Instead, he was hiding this expo on the second stage. This might have a big impact of being like an anti six star setup. I don't know if that makes any sense, but let's see. We'll find out in just a second. One thing he could do is switch in an archer and take down those two buildings with the cannon cards and then snipe this archer tower with the archers. That, that might be an option, who knows? But no, it seems like, wow, he is just risking it and placing this cannon card all the way at the top side. And this is what in the... That is just so close out of range. I feel like in one of the first attacks which we have seen, well, we have had this crazy incredible save in the second stage for the two stars. This would have been in range. This this feels like right now the game is on the side of um 
Wait, actually, no, it's the same team. I'm just right now a little bit confused. I thought this would be the Zofia attacking, but no, Zofia is actually defending. So, and the first attack from um, Midnight Bash was really close and not going their way this time. The range is just not in there. Really crazy. And the back end Crusher is getting taken care of. So, nice usage so far of this cannon card. Getting a lot of value. Double cannon. And then, obviously, the Crusher on defense already taken care of. Really, really impressive showing. And now we have the Giant going and we have the Bomber. And there we go. The, <laughs> the Giant even going all the way into the core. Nicely placed right there. And the cannon card then can be reactivated and just... I mean, that's, that's going to be a 6-star all the way. That is going to be a 6-star all the way. So this means Zofa Ega now needs to, get, uh, to go, get to the second stage. This is what they need. So they need a 3-star to get the win overall. But we have seen that things sometimes go wrong. So you never really can count on things happening too obviously. But what an attack this was. That was such a clean attack. Merciful. That was an impressive one. Really nicely done. The troll tester. Wait a second. The troll tester. No. That should not change anything. Was quite sneaky. You have to admit that. The time was ticking for him. But with 12 more seconds to go. It's not going to change anything. And this now means Silva Jäger. They have to get at least three stars to win this match. Let's see if they can do that. Okay. Let's see what he's going to do. We have... Great. Wait a second. This looks like a tweaked base, which is super popular. So let's see if they baited some common entries. This is like the tricky thing, right? Like this is the risky thing when you are um, attacking common bases because they can be tweaked in a couple of versions that... You are not really expecting those changes, and that could be really bad for you. So, right now, again, we have... Oh, we're switching to maybe some hog gliders. We have not seen those too often just yet in this match. Otherwise, a lot of P.E.K.K.A. We're seeing a lot of P.E.K.K.A. in this one. Sadly, I was missing a couple of Giant and Super Wizard action. Or I should call them the Electrofire wizard, um, Wizards overall. But we have not seen those too often. But I think so far we have seen the Pekka and the Baby Dragons dominating. With many the Pekka are getting the 6 stars at the moment. But let's see how Champ Camp can get this done. Remember, solid percentage 2 star, already just 3 stars in general. Should give them the win. And this one overall, great bounces right there. Oh, the push trap already. That was placed against like some cannon cards and stuff. Now let's see, we have... What? That hero is taking just so much damage. It's crazy. The Pekka is getting pushed inside. The ability should be great to take down some amazing buildings. And now take a look at that. The... Oh, wow. That was so genius. Like, such a genius play to really make good use of those hog gliders. The ability of the giant is still there. The Pekka now. The Pekka around the top side. I'm not sure if those Pekka were the best choice. Wait a sec. Is it going to... The Pekka are just running around the outside. There's still a Crusher and everything. Wait a sec. What is going on? The Pekka should be tanking enough, right? Are they losing a lot of hit points? Wait a second. Those last couple of Pekka that were not placed... Wait a second. 72%. Can you take those last couple of buildings? <laughs> what is... Oh my goodness. Yes, okay. So he, 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 he crossed the magic number kind of... And he should get the 3 star. But that was way too close considering how the, the star of the attack went. I feel like there was some mistaps happening as well. But time is ticking as well guys. 18 seconds. This might be another 2 star on this one. Oh no. The travel time. The Pekka are attacking too slow. Is there even a giant bomb? Another one? Who knows? 7 seconds. 7. 5. 4. 3. 2. One, and... No. It's a two-star. Now let's double-check quickly what the stats are saying. Let's just do that right here. We have, because I have to do everything by hands. Unfortunately, there is no bot whatsoever, but that should be enough. Like, 13 stars right there. Now let's take a look at the percentage. Just like that. Now we got it. Okay, so overall, a really, really close match between those two teams. The rank one 
and rank two team in the world from last season. I hope you enjoyed this match. Let me know how you think about this match overall in the comments. If you would like to see more of those events in the future, let me know if you have any other cool ideas, what type of events we could do in Bitter Base. Let me know down below in the comments. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow for the next one. Until then, see ya and bye bye.